We're going to begin with parents and students coming together in Bloomfield Hills to address several racist incidents at the high school. Off the top tonight at 11, tonight's meeting comes after hundreds of students held that walkout last Friday in protest. It was billed as a community collaboration event to brainstorm on how to stop racist threats like the ones discovered on a bathroom wall last week. Mar McDonald live in Bloomfield Hills tonight. Uh, Mar, the administration certainly got a near full tonight. Kimberly, they did from incredibly frustrated parents and students. Let me show you. Parents gathering at Bloomfield Hills High along with students before they got their chance at the mic, the superintendent apologized. I'd also like to take this opportunity to apologize to our students, our staff, and our community. So did the high school principal. You send your children to us every day in the hopes of keeping them safe in the best running environment possible. Students were harmed under my watch, and for that, I am sorry. What brought everything to a head were two threats on the bathroom walls at the high school claiming they want to kill blacks, except that wasn't the verbiage used. After the superintendent and the principal addressed the crowd, they asked us not to record further. They also asked parents and students not to record the meeting either. I stayed inside to listen. What it was was overwhelming frustration on behalf of some students who do not feel safe in the high school. They're frustrated with how the administration is handling it, and so are parents. You know, and this is something me and my wife talked about, one of the things we were very upset about is that when we were getting notices from the school district about what was happening, it was very generic. Letters have gone home to parents saying there had been racist incidents, but not detailing the exact nature of the threat. Parents want more transparency and they want rapid investigations. They've been telling the same story for a long time. It's not, it's not, they, this, is, this is not anything they, that's new. The administration have heard this before. So that's why I say only time will tell if they were, um, you know, if things want to change. Back here live, the school has reported the threats to the Bloomfield Township Police Department. Police are investigating. So far, they haven't identified who's responsible. We're live in Bloomfield Township tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Okay, Mara, thanks.